Hey everyone, welcome to another update on what's going on. Today was a tumultuous day. Definitely had a roller coaster of an experience. So what they're doing is they're going around and they're finding sections of the hospital, old sections that were long shut down. And what they're doing is they are refitting um, areas of these hospitals. They're adding in like COVID ICU wards and stuff like that. Uh, there's floors to the new building that weren't even supposed to be open yet. They're opening them and they're COVID areas. There's just a, there's a lot of stuff going on and uh, a lot of new equipment coming. A lot of old equipment that we're still dealing with. Um, it's, I don't know. I was exhausted today, needless to say. But I still wanted to bring you guys this video and um, let you guys know that the struggle is real. And uh, we are under a hiring freeze. And even if we weren't, honestly, I, I don't think anybody would petition on our behalf. Um, I was granted a third person for my team. And the third person within 24 hours... Um, for a period of time will not be on my team so uh that's you know i'm back down to two people covering 58 operating rooms and um we also do things like the cerner ce nodes which are the data um the data integration nodes and stuff but it's it's very exhausting because tomorrow tomorrow i'm gonna have a meeting with the anesthesia crew and the director of the or and they want to talk about biomed's role. And basically, these type of meetings, there's only one thing that's gonna happen, is I'm gonna end up with more work than what I did today. That's the only result. And my employer, or at least my immediate managers, who are all contracted, um, they seem to have listened to my concerns, sort of, but then I'll have a meeting they're like, what's going on with the PMs? Why aren't you guys done? It's like, man, I've got 58 operating rooms. I got like 4,000 some devices to my, my team. You want realistic PMs, you know, for perfusion and for operating room devices and data. And now we're doing first look on anesthesia machines and stuff. It's, it's going to get absolutely horrible. I already know that. So. I don't mean this video to be a downer, guys. I'm just giving you a realistic update. It's, I know a lot of days I seem like I'm full of energy and stuff and just, you know, overall, um, we're all staying very hopeful and not that there's gonna be a sense of improvement because we all kind of commit to this and we know that there's not gonna be an improvement for a while. But uh, what we are kind of all hopeful for is that in the future, um, hospitals will start releasing their freeze on hiring not only for my hospital but for other hospitals because I know of at least four biomeds that are going to be looking for jobs in the near future so if you're in Houston and you are um, going to be hiring soon there's a lot of people I know of that are submitting for retirement and so in the next four or five months probably a lot of these guys are going to be retiring and you know there's going to be some positions opened but that doesn't solve the problem that's people going away that's not people coming in with fresh energy and fresh ideas so it's going to continue some of the problem and when we did express energy and ideas they've been squashed quickly so um yeah, if, if you guys are hiring in, in the near future, I know of three to four biomeds for sure that will be looking for um, new places to work. So um, I'm keeping everybody in the loop of new job opportunities and stuff and career progression. And uh, if you are looking to move to Houston, then just to let you know, uh, hospitals around Houston have contracted management and you always have to consider something and it's not necessarily an ethical issue or a conflict of interest issue 
you just always have to consider that when you have contracted management, their first responsibility is to babysit the contract. And the contract has strict requirements. Like you have to get this percentage and you have to cut X amount of dollars off your budget, stuff like that. And they're not always in your best interest. They're more so in the contract's best interest and understandably so. So just to let you know, if you're moving to Houston, a lot of hospitals here have contracted management. So that's just a fair warning. It's, it's not necessarily a good or bad thing. There's advantages and disadvantages to everything, but you should be well aware. So, but uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna go inside and try and relax because today has been kind of an eye opener of a day and very stressful. Um, and it, it's just getting to be stressful in general. Uh, for a lot of people so uh, I would say about a quarter to half my biomed shop has ended up with a sickness uh, that shall go unnamed and um, guys I'm just gonna stay I'm gonna say it one more time if you are working on medical equipment at this time you should have wipes and gloves on your desk and I'm really kind of looking for the day where management comes in and they say, hey, you're going to be written up. If I see you working on medical equipment without gloves on your hands, and if you don't have wipes near your desk, you will be written up. I'm, I'm waiting for that day, and I'm, I'm staying hopeful because maybe somebody's going to care, all right? But when we're already shorthanded and, like, a good share of my shop is gone for, you know, at least a week to two weeks three weeks who knows it creates a lot of needless stress so you know anyway that's uh that's a day in the life it's been it's a beautiful day though it's a beautiful houston day it's hot as hell it's 96 97 degrees out and uh i think i'm gonna go jump in the pool so you guys have a good day <laughs>